I got to um, tell you that I went on Saturday. No, did you? <laughs> for the I second was, time. And the film that you made with Santi mm, Gold, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there was a little girl with a Olivia t-shirt on oh, nice. and a cape. Oh, I love it. A and red cape? she was watching it. She's like, why is that? Why is that woman so mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you could describe for listeners and viewers, what is what what is that piece about? That film piece. It's every the end of eating everything. The end end of eating everything. Yeah. It's basically Santi Gold's her sort of profile, sort yes. of chomping, yes. uh, making sort of facial gestures, and, yeah, and sort of seemingly eating the birds that are in the sky. Yes, yes. What is the catalyst for that piece? I mean, that piece is kind of. It's like a tying together everything that I've done in, in one place, in one piece. It's the female protagonist. Not always. They're not always nice girls in my work. And they're usually positioned as women of color with leading roles, in a way, in the story. And I don't care what the story is. Because for me, it's it's important that they're playing the role, you know, that 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 they're central. So I pick Santi because I feel she's just perfect for it and has kind of acted, but also has a key, has a recognizable face. And the body that I gave her was this planet, this cellular mass in a way that wow. um, that had metastasize into this humongous and as she chomp as she's chomping the body's changing everything is everything is digesting and swelling and writhing and there's a ton of energy and movement there's she's got all these hands you know she's a deformed creature of some kind there's something wrong with her clearly (laughs) but there's not it's not so obvious if you watch it from the beginning because i think one of the things i really wanted was to slowly introduce people to her with this very beautiful profile of her face and then as you move back I wanted it to be um, a surprise how humongous she was Um, because I I had it changed in fact at some point her scale was a bit like a large animal then it you know I realized no 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 this is this is this is a bigger problem than even that so we got bigger and bigger and and that's when it got really interesting because of course then I realized I had to find um how to justify her movement how she's capable of you know floating in Mm -hmm. this manner through the world and then and I had made this series of work called tumors none of which are in the show and then these tumors around 2005 2006 are all these uh circular collages that have all manner of ills and explosions and swellings and blisters and blood and liquid and legs and vaginas and trees and hair and all manner of things growing out of them. It's like, in my mind, when they're being made, I mean, I capture like a frame when I make them, but in my mind, they're sort of pulsating with illness and at the same time life and potential and um but i call them the tumor series because i was thinking a lot about cancer as a metaphor for our state of being right now how we have sort of internalized a lot of our issues as a planet and are we are creating the thing that is killing us it's not external it's not coming from ufos it's not a meteorite it's not it's inter it's our own internalized self um it's funny that you say that because the popular series that's on cable right now is um, The Walking Dead. Ah, and I've heard of it, but I haven't watched it at all. People think it's about zombies, mm-hmm. but it's about the people <laughs> ah. and how they react to the zombies around them. The zombies ah. are these sort of automatons. Right. And How do the they, people react to them? How, they turn on each other. <laughs> Oh, as opposed to the zombies. As opposed to the zombies. They turn on each other. They, you know, become sort of the survival of 
you know, I don't oh, really fit that's this, so interesting. So when people talk about the show, it's not about the zombies. The zombies are kind of an excuse to show sort of how depraved human beings. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's that's really interesting. So I think that you know, I think that's sort of an illustration of what you're talking about the time in which we're living. Yeah, in. yeah. No, I totally, I totally feel that um, in spite of our evolution, in spite of how much we think we know, how far technology has gotten us, how developed the most developed people think they are, we have retained a kind of beast um, base uh, behavior that it just, it needs to change.